Hey guys, Coach Kelsey here with our series on the Enneagram. Today we're going to be talking about a type three, which is the achiever. A type three on the Enneagram is success oriented. They pursue excellence. They are driven. They tend to be image conscious as well. And the ultimate fear for a type three, the achiever is to not be valuable or to not be worthwhile because ultimately their greatest desire is to have value and be worthwhile. Some key motivators for an Enneagram three, they want to be admired and they want to have some attention. They want to distinguish themselves from other people and they want to impress others. Now, just like with any Enneagram number, there are some strengths and areas of growth for a three as well. Some of those strengths for an Enneagram three include the drive to accomplish and succeed, motivating and encouraging those around them, the ability to understand and connect with others, being charismatic and confident, and efficiency and practical thinking in the workplace. Some areas of growth for an Enneagram three are focusing too heavily on personal image, difficulty accepting failure from themselves or others, losing touch with or avoiding their own feelings, and being perceived as insensitive or overly competitive. Now, all of the numbers on the Enneagram reflect the character of God in some way, and for the achiever, that is through God's hope and radiance. Some discussion questions for you guys this week. Number one, is it possible that you are a three on the Enneagram? Why or why not? Number two, can you think of somebody in your life or on your team that might be a three? And along with that, how can you best encourage or support somebody in your life that you think might be a three, knowing that their greatest desire is to feel valuable and worthwhile? And lastly, what do you appreciate about a three on the Enneagram? Some challenges for you this week. If you are a player, I want you to think about who might be an Enneagram three on your team. And I want you to go to that person and I want you to tell her how she makes an impact on the team. What value does she bring to your team? If you are a coach, I want you to stretch yourself and I want you to go to each player individually this week and tell her how she makes an impact on your team, both on and off the court. And if you're a family member watching from home, I want you to think about who might be a three in your life. And I want you to go to them and tell them how they have influenced your life, how they have impacted it for the better. This will go a long way in the heart and mind of an Enneagram three. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to join us next time when we talk about a type four on the Enneagram.